today teaching you how to create your own uh, virtual machine instance to host your WordPress website. So as you can see, I went into AWS, uh, I logged into my AWS console, go to the EC2 in uh, EC2 service. EC2 basically it's a, a service that lets you create virtual machines. So in this case, I wanted to create one. So launching an instance means creating an instance of the virtual computer on the web. So okay, uh, because I'm targeting to create a WordPress site, so instead of going for the vanilla uh, free tier eligible Amazon Linux, what I can do is I can go to the marketplace, place, find the version of, let's say, I want to search for WordPress, I want to create one. So you notice that there are two uh, Vietnamese uh, WordPress that you can choose. So what I did was I chose this one. So which, which I'm going to show you right now. So it's going to choose a machine image that will be preloaded with WordPress. So you don't you can like uh, skip all those uh, complicated stuff. So in this case, you will notice that there is a certain pricing tied to your account and EC2. The software basically is free, provided by Bitnami. Uh, EC2 yet yeah, you still have to pay, although it's free tier, the, you are paying for the instance itself. So you can just press on continue. Okay, so uh, instead of going for a T3 nano, we're to go for the T2 one. Oh, please take note that because just now the instance that I'm choosing is actually using a Debian Linux version, a uh, Linux of a uh, Debian uh, distro. Yeah, distro. Uh, review and launch. Uh, okay, sorry. Previous. Okay, so all this went too far ahead. Okay, so I chose an instance type. Okay, so basically this is trying to tell you that uh, you can press the, uh, once you press next, instead of review and launch, you press configuration. So all these settings, right, I go by default. Uh, I wanted to add a basic uh, general purpose SSD would be enough. Doesn't need to be very uh, fast paced. And in this case, I just need to press review and launch. Uh, nothing else for now that I need to edit. So you notice that uh, my security groups has already been assigned to have certain uh, SSH being configured, HTTP, HTTPS. So once I press launched, okay, so in this case, I already have a key pair. So what this thing is doing is basically to, uh, you are creating um, SSH key so that you can like tunnel, or not say tunnel, like go into your virtual machine anywhere around the world. Uh. So in this case, uh, just choose an existing pair. I already created two, so I'm going to use my next tech one. Acknowledge, loss and instance. So, yep. So currently what this thing is doing is going to ins uh, initiate my, my machine. Uh, ignore this one because I'm going to terminate this one. Uh, it was something that I didn't de do properly. So this one is just to provide a name on the virtual instance that you are doing. So right now it's still running some tests. Uh, we can ignore all this first. They have already provided an IP here. So uh, this IP will be useful, uh, which is to connect to your virtual machine on the web. So normally what we wanted is like a kind of like all these uh, proper instances of the naming. Uh, I mean your domain name. So I've created uh, let's say I follow the same naming convention, I press save. Okay, so in this case, uh, because we use the uh, WordPress uh, by Binami, Bitnami, so the username right, is actually called Bitnami, and the instance that I wanted to connect to is actually this IP address. So you can either choose this or this, both works. Uh. So I just press save. So uh, remember just now that key value pair, uh, I'll further explain what that thing is in uh, attachment video. So in this case, I already have created a private key and I just need to load it up and select the location, session, and press save. Okay, and just let me delete this useless ones first. Okay, save. Okay, so you notice that the connection type that we are going to is called SSH. You are using port 22 to go into SSH. You can actually change this port if you want, but normally by default it goes into 22. Okay, then 
what we can do now is we just press open okay so the virtual instance right it's uh we'll show you that uh, just to let you see that actually you have a virtual instance here already so let me refresh this page So the instance here, right, you notice that it's currently running, all the status checks is there. And you have a Bitnami uh, user interface here. In this case, right, I've already bought three domains for myself, uh, as you can see here. Uh, the one that I'm going to create now is actually called TechX. So previously I was using TechX for something else, but right now let's say I were to change my value of the routing. Uh, this is a domain host name. Uh, I'm changing my value to connect to a different instance. So in this case, I have this number here. I'm going to copy paste this, edit and put it inside here to save. Similarly, uh, the web page, like, the, the non www.techx.com and the one with the www. You need to change both of them. You edit the records and press save. So now you notice that this is pointing to the IP address given by my virtual machine instance. I can proceed to techx.com. You notice that they will see that your connection is not private. This is because you haven't configured the uh, let's encrypt. So uh, in a uh, technically you have already created a website, but you notice that it's still not secure. So what I'm going to do now is to make this a secure website. So you see that uh, they will teach you how to do, how to uh, sudo, uh, how to turn, uh, enable the cert bot that, is, that comes together with your account. So right now they will prompt you with telling you what kind of domain that you want to use right now. So I'll just put in techx.com and www.techx.com. Oh, okay, so what this thing is doing is actually trying to, to help you create a SSL certification so that your website will not have that not secure word appear there. Okay, do I want to redirect HTTP to HTTPS? Yes. Okay, so what is this? Is basically HTTPS is uh, a form of encryption so that people cannot anyhow hijack your uh, your your data. Okay, do I want to route non www to www? I would say no because in this case I wanted just techx.com to be a main web page without the www inside. Do you want to route with to without? Yes. And do you agree to these changes? Yes. Okay, what is my email address? I'll just key in mine. That is tied to this uh, SSL certificate. Do you agree? Yes. So let's encrypt is uh, an initiative by Google to provide free SSL uh, for people who wanted to create a new website. So uh, budget people like us, we can actually uh, utilize this. Okay, so what this thing is doing right now is trying to help you uh, do a certification for the website. So after once this is done, right, you'll notice that this document here will show that it's it has been secured. Okay, so uh, you notice that right now the website right let's see if you'll go to our main page currently it still mentioned that it's insecure okay so there's this username and password that you need to key in how do you get your first username you go back to your instance 
right click on your instance go to security networking um, let me see which one it is uh, okay go and get your system log if I'm not mistaken it should be here okay you notice that there is a password being provided here this will be your default password that you use for your account uh, this application is what you're going to put it here okay so the username is user and remember me and log in okay so now you notice that uh, the website is up Okay, so uh, basically you have uh, you have managed to log into your website. Okay, after refreshing the page, right, you notice that yes, now it has a S. So and it didn't say that it's not secure anymore. So any transactions or information being uh, trans uh, any information that is sent out from this web page to any other users in this case, if I'm not mistaken, it should be considered secure. So now, uh, what you can do now, it's uh, you have your own WordPress site. Okay, personally for me, I normally would like to use some other builders. And uh, just to give uh, like a um, brief... Okay, so this is your dashboard of your web page. Um, you notice that normally uh, the default version they say that you have some available it's normally best to just update your dashboard uh, uh, your whole wordpress I guess it's fine there's no issues you just need some time to uh, update your wordpress version other things uh, quite often that you need is uh, like there's many plugins that you need to use or you wanted to use so you notice there's some by default that comes together with the wordpress itself so this one is up to you to uh, play with. If there's any particular plugin that you wanted to uh, want me to share, I can always add a follow-up video for this. So yeah, uh, I would say that your website's done. Uh, you basically have your own free WordPress and it's done within like what, 10 minutes? Yep. Uh, so I think that's all for now. If you like this video, uh, please like and subscribe. Thank you.